Hi, this is Mark from Your Motor Guys, and today I'm riding the Yamaha XSR 700. Woo <laughs> All righty then. The XSR 700 is a little motorcycle that can uh, derived or inspired by the uh, the UGM motorcycles, Universal Japanese motorcycles of the 60s, late 60s, 60s, 70s, and early 80s. This motorcycle, when you look at it, at it from afar, you're gonna find a motorcycle that you probably recognize in shape, but don't really recognize because it's a brand new bike. Uh, this bike is. Uh, it's a little mystery. I don't know why Yamaha built this except for you know people who like the retro retro stuff and uh, You know the retro bike craze is still going on and these motorcycles are really really uh, Popular there there's many makes and builds and all this stuff and this one is just one by Yamaha There's a she's got a big sister called the XSR 900 which has that sweet triple this one is a 700cc parallel twin that will pump out around 74 horsepower which is pretty good for a bike this small because this is a very very small bike and there's a lot of power available on tap in all gears uh, yeah it's it's a nice it's a really cool motor I, I love this motor it's the uh, same as on the uh, Teneri 700 which I love and at the same time the MT-07 which is another motorcycle that I kind of enjoy from Yamaha so apart from that I was talking about gears and this is where it falls a little bit flat I'm having a little bit of issues uh, maybe it's a final gearing or whatever but down downshifting on this motor uh, on this on this unit is painful at best uh, it's hard to downshift the gears you hear you hear it clunk in pretty hard it's not a it's 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 not fun unless you rev match it the uh, going down in gears is, is not a nightmare not a pain it's just not really easy to do if you catch what I, it's a it's a little bit tight Hey, 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 this guy, uh, he was uh, pretty busy, huh? he wanted to come, anyway, he, wa <laughs> he wanted it. Okay, so next, uh, let's go with uh, the ergonomics. What I love about this motorcycle is the, the really tight ergonomics that give you the feeling that you're driving or riding a vintage sport bike. So you're, you're sitting up. You have high handlebars, no clip-ons. It just uh, and this with the seating position is very, very comfortable. I'm surprised because I'm a big and tall guy. I'm like 220, 230, almost 6'3, and I fit like a glove on this motorcycle, even though it is very, very small. Uh, on the ergonomic side, I like it a lot. Another thing I like, uh, if you check out the handlebars, uh, these are very, very simple 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 <laughs> the way I like them everything in the switch gear is easy so there's no there's no physical jigs I know this is my 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 catchphrase there's no all, all kinds of buttons and doodads and all this thing this is just basic motorcycles the way it was intended so you don't have to fiddle around with a lot of buttons and stuff like that you just start her up let her rip and have fun it's a sweet ride. I like it anyway. Uh, where it falls a little bit flat again is on suspension. The suspension is a 41, uh, 41 millimeter fork, uh, non-adjustable. The front is fine actually, it tracks right. The rake is good, uh, very, very stable. No need for a steering damper or any, anything, anything like that. It does the job as advertised. No problem, no issue there. Where I do have a problem, a little bit of a problem, is on the back, uh, on the rear shock, which is uh, mounted horizontally. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit on the stiff side. So even for me at uh, 220, 230, depending on what I ate today, uh, 
the rear shock is on this stiff side so the, there's a little bit too much spring damping is fine but I don't know what why uh, Yamaha when which went with such a such a tight spring in the back uh, it, but it rails uh, handling wise this thing is very very sharp you no know, uh, again for an entry-level bike <laughs> this is uh, it, it, I, I'm starting to like what's coming out now you don't need all these thousand and over cc motorcycles to have have some fun out there it just it just goes you go you ride these are fine no problemo anyways i i like i like the handling rear shock a little bit too stiff and that's pretty much how i feel about it i don't know the brand of the tires i didn't check that but the tires are good uh not noisy uh, tracking is good comfort is good and the turn-in grip is very good it's a it, I, I can feel it. it it's a very uh, touring oriented tire more touring than sport and uh yeah that tire i'll put it on the screen here what uh, what tire this this one is using but i like i like the i like the rubber on it for just bombing around like what uh, what i'm doing right now it's it's perfectly fine for that the rest listen easy motorcycle that can do the job that works great the first time it's a yamaha don't don't even sweat it this thing works like it's intended to be no issues there did i am i missing anything jason you still there am i missing anything oh yeah Oh yeah, we have to talk about the price. That's that's another thing I'm not too. I think it's a it's on the pricier side of things. It, this bike, you know, it's a 700 stripped down motorcycle. It's 11 grand Canadian. So 10.999 is a little bit on the steep side of the price, but you're getting Yamaha quality. But I still think this should be a, a sub ten thousand dollar motorcycle. There is a lot of nice motorcycles coming to the market, especially with CF Moto coming into the market with uh, those uh, barely rebranded KTM redesigns. They have some sweet bikes too, but it is a Yamaha and the Yamaha power plant uh, is just sweet, but it's expensive. And uh, you know, I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> so all in all, very decent motorcycle, good handling, extremely good performance out of the 700cc engine. A little bit of a letdown by the transmission and the rear shock. The rest is all pristine, very comfortable, very nicely thought out motorcycle. It's a thing. Go to your local dealer and check them out. There's some in stock. They're not that. There's not that much in the market. So, you, if you have one, uh, you're you're likely not to meet another one every time you go out so urban motorcycle back roads it's a great little bike uh, please if you like what we do please give us the thumbs up the thumbs up is your uh, your way of telling us that you like the content and uh, please if you have a chance subscribe to our youtube channel or the platform uh, the social media platform where you see this video on we always appreciate it we're an independent pr production company and we do not rely on sponsorship from manufacturers to produce and pay ourselves so we're paid by views and trust me we ain't rich <laughs> so i'm mark on the camera bike over there is jason and uh, we are the motor guys and uh, guess what we're going to do we're going riding Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Check that out! Woo! <laughs>